Today's ingredients, half cup mayonnaise, two tablespoons pickle relish, one tablespoon of onion, half cup all-purpose flour, salt, pepper, and sustenance, two eggs, two cups of cornflakes, well crushed, one pound of cod, tilapia, or other whitefish. Alright guys, so today we're going to be making some homemade tartar sauce, tartar sauce, sorry, I'm not sure why I did all that, but today you can see the ingredients, we're going to have some mayo, some relish, some onion, of course we're going to be tossing some sustenance in there, pretty simple, straightforward, won't take very long. All right, guys, this suggests, the recipe suggests for one tablespoon of onion, realistically. I love some onions, so I'll probably toss a little more. If you don't want it to, don't. Just, uh, just don't. Do whatever tastes good to you. Relish, in my opinion, excuse me. Tartar sauce, in my opinion, is fantastic for fish. It goes great. So, I'm just going to, uh, cut one side. Wow. And cut another side. Both sides, even. Keep it simple, a little cut aside. I'm gonna just peel that bad boy. There are far superior methods, I'm sure. Um, this is what I'm doing right now, as you can see. That's where we're settled. We take this, we're gonna toss this right into the middle. Okay, so very few diced onions in the recipe. I'm gonna cut this bad boy in half. You can use that other half for later. And uh, I'm sure as you could, uh, being on YouTube, you've seen tons of videos of cutting onions. I'm gonna do what I've seen, which is you basically pick a side, you don't go too far in, okay? You watch your mother fingers, okay? And eventually I'm gonna get a samurai sword for all this cutting. This knife isn't terrible, but it could do better. Watch those fingers, wow. And then, it, it's real simple. And I honestly am just gonna dice this whole bad boy up. Might, might as well. May not use it all, but I'm gonna use what I can, because otherwise it's just gonna go to waste anyway. So, and if you want to, just do a little blah. Excuse me. Wash some fingers. Take your time, people. Okay, and we're gonna just toss a little bit of this. Look at that. Just very average cuts. You feel me? For the all ASMRs, you gotta love that. Guys, uh, just real quick, got any extra. We're gonna toss this in the bag just to, honestly, for the guilt's sake, just so you don't feel terrible. Maybe we run into an issue where we know, you know what? We need some cut up chopped onions. Some mediocrely chopped up, up onions. Hey, guess what? And that boy's gonna be sitting in this bag waiting for you. Or they'll sit in that refrigerator, get old, and you'll throw them away. Either way, for the night, you're gonna sleep tight, know that you haven't wasted that food, okay? All right, guys, as, as I stated earlier, I like to improvise. It suggests us doing half a cup of mayo. Shout out to Dukes! But uh, I'm just gonna squeeze this bad boy in there again. Just absolutely no, no regard. Blah, okay? Now, to be honest, that's not a full half cup. That's fine with me. I'm not a mayo freak, okay? I don't need all that. However, your boy, stay on his pick, pickle game. We're gonna check out the nutritional facts first, okay? Bio, and we're gonna hit you with that dill relish. For the all that like the sweet relish, may God have mercy on your souls, but uh, we're rocking that dill. Half cup, this said two teaspoons. I'm a pickle guy, as I've stated. Excuse me. So we're gonna be going for, that is by the way, these are half. Okay, so realistic, if you're cool with the two teaspoons, you're just gonna be doing four of these. I'm gonna be doing about six to eight double my recipe because I love pickles. Okay, that's just your boy. Again, no, notice how those are heaping spoons. At no point is that following the recipe. And or even honestly, just what it says on the spoon. Okay, that's how I get down. It's up to y'all. Boom, okay. That's gonna be our tartar sauce. I am gonna be tossing a little bit of these seasonings in here. Personal favorite. You guys may have not have heard this before. We're going with some garlic powder. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lean into it a little bit. This is to y'all's flavor. What do you like? What tastes good? Maybe you don't know. Find out. And excuse me, before I hit you with that, my lord, that Greek seasoning, it doesn't miss y'all. Um, now, I'd be lying to say if I haven't done too much before on any of the seasonings before, 
but you got to get in there. You got to find out what you like, what's too much. That's what we're going to go with today. Now we're going to stir all this up. My daughter, y'all. And I also love pickles. Forgot the spoon. <laughs> I would suggest any of y'all try to put videos on. Stay prepped. I'm just going to mix this up. Half a cup of mayo. That seemed like a lot of mayo to be. Honestly, I would still probably end up throwing a little more pickle in here. I love the addition of the onion, though. So I'm an onion guy. That looks like a lot of mayo to me. An apple, huh? She just, I'm telling y'all, it's crazy. She is just random. She's like, you know what? We're making a video. Haven't had an apple in four months. Now's the time. <laughs> crazy. Now, I'll be honest, it doesn't look like a terrible tartar sauce to me, but I'm going to be honest, I'm still going to throw a little more pickle in there because, again, I love them. I'm going to get a little lazier with it. I already put the spoon in the sink. You know what I'm saying? I've committed to that. Blah. See a little bit of them sesamins up in there. You feel me? Them Greeks, them Greek sesamins. I'm gonna be honest, I'll probably slap a little more in there. Because that mayo kind of makes things taste a little bland, I'll be honest. Not horribly, but you don't want to taste nothing but mayo. And look at that beautiful color. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Come back in with a little bit more of that Greek. Mm-hmm. And this may surprise y'all, but I'm going to put a little more pickle in there. I don't know what it is, but I think I like it. Look at that mix for it, though. Just superb. Excellent. Today we're using Crisco pure vegetable oil. Putting in there while the basket's still in there, while they're like a heathen. Take it out so I can see if I've got it high enough. Oh, yeah. Excellent. I'm gonna splash just a little more. All right, guys. Today we're gonna to be making our own French fries. We've got our delicious potatoes. We're just gonna cut them in half and then using that apple cutter, make it as small as you can. And honestly, this is just for the sake of time. Whatever you have to do to cut these bad boys up or just get some frozen french fries, whatever works. I just throw a little pizzazz in there just because I love the way these taste and they're really not too hard to throw together. And simple as that, guys. We're going to throw some salt and pepper on these bad boys and we're going to toss these right into the fryer. Get to know your food. It is personal. It's going in your gut. Get personal. Throw some salt on that bad boy. Just look at that. Enjoy that salt. Here comes that pepper. 
Shout out my baby girl, who just look at her as if we ain't spoke to her before. Can't believe it. Back to that pepper. Look at it. Just, just flavor flakes all over them bad boys. If you don't like pepper, you can add anything you want. Put some garlic on there. I'll probably do that too, honestly. I am a garlic fanatic, if you guys haven't noticed already. I don't really think you could do any wrong. Nor can garlic, okay? Again, anything that you guys are feeling, put this on there. The potatoes will wet, so they just absorb it. all of them luscious sustenance. Okay, we're gonna keep it simple. Just stop there. Anything else you guys want to throw on there, please do. Add less, more, whatever feels good. Talk about the experience and what feels good to you guys. Make it fun. That's why I love cooking. Honestly, I rarely do what I'm told. As far as uh, amounts, I like to go by feel. I like to go by feel. There have been mistakes, but I do like to do that. And obviously just adding seasonings and things like that that maybe it doesn't, a recipe doesn't suggest just because that's what I like. So, I mean, honestly, this looks pretty good. I got that. Yes, a lot. Okay. All right, guys, so we're going to take this after a little cleanup and just move this right over to the fraw. To the fraw. So we're back with this side. She's not plugged in. So the first thing we're going to do is plug her in. I suggest you do the same. She's plugged in. So now we're gonna wait a good bit for her to warm up, although she should have already been ready, okay? Thanks for being here. All right, y'all, so the fryer's ready, finally. And we're just gonna to toss these bad boys right into the basket. Ooh, be careful now. Be safe about it. I wouldn't necessarily cost it just being safe. Big, a little jostle. You can really just jostle. You know? I'm going to talk to that thing. Wow. Look at that. Something about an air fryer, something about fryer, y'all. Just a regular fryer, not one that's air, is just special. That bubbling, you can see some work getting done. All right, y'all, we're gonna let that sit. And honestly, I'm just gonna check on it. As far as time goes, you can probably give yourself a frame reference about 20 minutes when it comes to potatoes. Potatoes are a little thick, and I left those pretty thick too, to be honest, so they'll probably take a little longer than if you cut them a little thinner. It's up to you. Um, but I'll be checking on these every five or so minutes just to make sure they're not getting too done. And of course, getting that jostle in there. All right, y'all, you can listen to that. That crackle, God bless. Any of you guys that have been to a fair before, or any type of event like, quite frankly, I lost it. So, if you've ever been to a fair before, y'all know that sound, y'all know that smell. Look at that! Bless! And I'm going to be honest, these day battles are looking good. They've been in here for, let's say, a little less than 10 minutes. And good, Lord, Lord. those are thick pieces, and they're coming along nicely. Listen to that sound. You can hear they got a nice little crunchy crust already. I like mine to be nice and done up. So we're gonna put them bad boys in there for about another five minutes, I'd say. Maybe a little less. We'll let them speak to us, okay? We're gonna get them another ride jaws in there, and we're gonna let them go. And that's it. Stop it. All right, y'all. So we've gone ahead and take a plate. Paper towel. Keep that shit simple. Oh my goodness. You sit her to the side. All out of you. I did jostle her once since we see you last. So just look at that. 
Is that beautiful? The color on there might look a little more burnt. Oh, okay, there it is. Your brother's thick, so I gotta get out the way. But that's gorgeous. We're gonna make sure all that oil is good. We must have that oil as we can off there. I am pouring that over the sink just in case. There's some mistakes. No one's perfect. And then there it is. Right there. We did have some. But just look at that. Gorgeous. Almost look like sweet potato. But they aren't. I did thaw these out just about an hour ago just to make sure that the uh, temperature was perfect. You don't want to be dealing with anything cold fish. You do not want to be dealing with cold fish. This part is really up to you. Do whatever you like. Make them as big as you want. Maybe don't decide not to cut them. It's up to you. I'll try to get four pieces out of these bad boys. You hear me? Shout out to Heron's Market. We did get these pieces of this fish at uh, our local butcher. Um, shout out to Kyle and the gang. They're actually incredible. Oops a daisy. We're going to be breaking uh, three eggs. And it says with three tablespoons of water, which I find interesting, but we'll try it. Not sure what the point of this is. But maybe somebody in the comments can tell us what that's about. We only have the half tablespoon, as many of you know how that goes. Never have the full set. We'll be doing six of these. All right, guys, this is where you're going to use your own imagination. It says salt to taste, which they only suggest salt and pepper at the very least, but. Uh, that's not nearly enough for me. When it comes to your flour, make sure that you're getting plenty of seasoning in there. Worst case, you put a little too much. But as you can see here, your boy's getting in there. Okay, we throw them seasonings up in there. You guys our Greek seasoning too. So I forgot to show you that last one was Old Bay. Let me get that in there for you. That old baby hit. Of course, you got some of that garlic powder. Spread out. Some of that slap your mama. That's the hot kind, so you, be, you can't do too much of that, or she will slap you, quite literally. And I'll even throw a touch of that black and spice. Again, I'm trying to get some flavor up in there. You gotta love that color. Make sure you get all those seasonings at the bottom. Don't get lazy. Look at the color of that flower, though. If you're not seeing at least some huge change, you probably haven't added enough seasonings, or you've simply added salt. So you're not gonna see any color change anyway, but still I suggest get creative. Don't be afraid of your food. Don't be afraid of them sustenance. Today we're rocking with the uh, corn, flake, corn flake crumbs <coughs> and Kellogg's. I've done pinko, I've done flour before as far as a crust goes. This will be the first time I've done a corn flake crust, but I've been seeing it's gained in popularity, so I wanted to see just how good it was if made homemade. I admit that is a beautiful golden brown. 
All right, guys, so the recipe suggests a white fish. We found halibut when I went to my local butcher. Uh, unfortunately, didn't have anything other. They suggested cod. Uh, what else is it? Tilapia. Some of your, your usuals, but we went ahead with the, the halibut and quite frankly, I mean, it looks delicious. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just bread these, bread these bad boys up. And Brad, if you're out there, make sure you're breading, my boy. I like to hit a little roll method. Make sure that you get all, all four sides, okay? Splash that. And look at this dude, just, okay. Look at that. Just magic, isn't it? God almighty. Ooh, boy. Done. Simple, straightforward. You already have your sesamins just chilling in your flour, so you're done there, okay? You've done all the hard work. This is where it gets easy. Now, to be honest with you, I'm a little uppity and I would normally be wearing some gloves just because, okay? I just It just makes things a little easier for me, but let's be honest, most of us don't. So we're gonna go raw. Some of you may wanna double dip, by the way. And all that would be is you take it here. I'm gonna just hit you with it. Check this though, Pete Gabe, watch the technique, okay? Double dip, bow. You hit it there, that's it. We're coming back though, hold on. Yeah. You hit it with that, that dry one more time. Hit it with that, that roll, the roll is feeling good to me. Whatever feels good to y'all. I'm a little obsessive, so sometimes I may even do a little too much on the breading. Blam. Can you tell the difference at all? No, but you know it's there. You know that second breading's there. For the sake of time, we're not gonna do the double breading though. We're just gonna keep it simple on, this, on the uno. One thing I do love about the, the frying is just, it is so simple, let's be honest. You put some sesamins to your liking, crack an egg open. It is messy, I won't lie there. There are some messes. Exhibit A. But man, that flavor, y'all. Look at my, your voice figures eventually you start turning to clubs. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, it doesn't matter if you got the gloves on or not, that ends up happening. Is there a better method? Sure, sure. Am I concerned about that right now? Mm -mm. No. Sure ain't. Look at that though, that goldness. The goldness. Them Kellogg's hitting right now. And your boy's gonna come over here just for a quick second and give himself, look at, okay. That's dense. Keep them tools clean, y'all. And just like that, we back at it. Again, I might be a little obsessive about getting the uh, the coating on there, but I want to make sure that that boy is coated. The egg does its work for you, but these bad boys, I put a little time in. Okay. Wow. Hit you with that sprinkle. Oh. Beautiful. Two more. All right, y'all. So the magical moment. We all came for french fries, they look beautiful. Okay, let's be honest, stunning even. I can't stop thinking about them, but we are here for this fish, these Kellogg's. Remember, halibut. Okay, they look stunning, I won't lie. Okay, immediately you hear just a little talk. Okay, they're communicating to us. <laughs> they're saying they're prepped, we'll see though. Good, oh, listen to that. I love this fryer. Care for you. Don't burn yourselves. Look at that. Okay. Get out y'all's way. Wow. Just looks stunning. Okay, a lot of y'all. And then we just submerged them bad boys. Mm -mm -mm. And for those of you that may be curious, 
We're gonna be putting them in there for about eight minutes total, okay? And I'm gonna be coming in here and checking them in about four minutes. We're giving a good Ryan's Joslin. That was terrible. It is. It doesn't sound as good when I'm looking right at the camera, but we're gonna be giving a Joslin, and uh, and then we'll get, we'll be done in eight minutes, okay? One good Joslin, and then we're good, okay? We'll check back here in about eight minutes. One Joslin. So it comes the magic hour. It's time. Look at that. A bit of Joslin. We're gonna transfer this over here. And I've become a lover of the rack. Okay. Can't get enough of it now. I've been using it for some steaks, a recent. Now I just use it for everything. Just gonna sit those there, just to make sure that it has some time to breathe. Okay, it needs some air. They've been suffocating that oil. Just look at those though. Uh, quite frankly, a little brown. They're smaller pieces, so you probably could have got them out of there probably about two minutes earlier, and they would have been absolutely perfect. But I'm not mad at all at this. Guarantees your fish is cooked. And let's be honest, it still looks great, okay? And at the end of any good fry, we just gotta touch it with a little bit of salt, not a lot. Speak to it. It's more of a whisper, okay? A little salt, touch it with the pepper, okay? Mm. Splash it, wow, one more, and we're out. Okay, now look at this. Look at it. That's a meal for the fam. And let's be honest, it didn't take too long. Could have been quicker? Sure. That's it. It could have been much quicker, actually. A lot. I made a lot of mistakes here. It's been a disaster at this kitchen. But we've had a good time. Okay. Nothing on it. I just wanted to bring it over to the sink because I didn't know what else to say. Okay? I appreciate you guys joining us. I'm going to sit this back over here. And we're out. <laughs> All right, your boy. Striding, right here at Quick Eats. And as you can see, we are finally finished with our delicious dinner. Honestly, all things considered, if you're going for the filming, this would be real quick, real easy. I highly recommend it. Uh, look at this. It looks fantastic. Look at the crust on that. You can't hear it, but it is there, I promise you. Delicious. So, um, where do I start? I'm gonna start with the fries, okay? That did have a little tartar sauce on it, by the way, which is fantastic. Damn. I'll be honest, considering how thick these fries were, I thought they'd be a little um, a little mushy in the middle, but they're great. The crust is awesome on the outside, the flavor is dang. And in the middle, I'm, I'm just gonna stick with the tartar sauce. Y'all. Yeah, delicious. So good. You have no idea. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna the, I'm gonna leave the potatoes alone. I'm gonna give the fish just a raw try first, no tartar sauce, and then we dive in, okay? I'm gonna splash it. Damn, even better than I actually expected with no tartar sauce. Mm. I won't lie though, the tartar sauce has killed it. Plenty of seasonings, that garlic is just slapping me in my taste buds. Oh, my God, you can see the, the flavor crystals just in there. Look at them. I'll be honest, the fish and the potatoes by themselves are excellent, but elevated. Add some seasons that you think you'd like. Get some sesames in that tartar sauce. Look at this. Mm-hmm. Excellent. The 
good. Fuck, that's good. Quick, easy, delicious. A note, we use a regular fryer tonight. Not everybody has a regular fryer, I understand that. Most people nowadays have air fryers. We're gonna be doing a comparison to see what we think, what's more efficient, what's faster, what tastes better. And we'll definitely be putting a video and letting you guys know. But as for this, this is 10 out of 10. This is everything you want in the meal. Savory, delicious, quick, and easy. Delicious. Y'all, this is so good, I think I'm gonna bring in baby girl and just see what she thinks. Because I think this is child friendly. Even the fish. We'll find out. Boo -boo. Talk to me. What you think? What you feeling about? Good babe. Quiet. They're really chewy. In the, in in the inside. Mm -hmm. What do you think of the taste though? It's absolutely delicious. Is that the potato? Okay, so she started with the potatoes, them french fries. Oh, the tartar sauce. What do you think of the tartar sauce? <laughs> it's good. Which is basically pickle sauce, let's be honest. And also, I love pickles like him. <laughs> this honestly tastes like chicken tenders that they made once. It was so good. I'm just saying, y'all, the seven year old called it, okay? You can't miss Kellogg's, the cornflake mix. As far as flavor goes, honestly, you can taste a little bit of the cornflake in there too. Some sesamins in there. I mean, you can't lose with this, y'all. It's so quick, so easy, a little messy, to be fair. Tiny, tiny bit of cleanup. Have your kids do it. You know what I'm saying? You feed them, right? Okay? So, enjoy, y'all. Appreciate you guys' visit. It's your boy, Quick Eats. Pretty delicious, though. Here we go.